All week real estate. Today I had a real estate closing and my client was the purchaser and there's no bank involved. And the property was more than a million and a half dollars. So there was a mansion tax. So I want to discuss taxes. In New York State, typically the seller will pay transfer taxes. That's tax to New York State and tax to New York City. The New York City, the five boroughs, charges 1% of the sales price. And the state charges 0.05%. Uh, so the best way to do that is um, to calculate it. <clears throat> is it 05? No, it's not 05. But let me tell you what, how you figure it out. You take the purchase price and you divide it by $500. Whatever number you get, you multiply that by two dollars, so it's 0.04. 0.04. Oh boy, this is gonna be some great video. But when the house is expensive, a high-priced house, you then additionally have mansion tax, and that's on the buyer. So the buyer pays the mansion tax. Hmm. So those are the the three taxes associated with the transfer of a property. There is an additional tax if you borrow money. We have mortgage tax in New York State. So whoever borrows the money, it's always gonna be a buyer, right? The seller can't borrow money at the closing. The borrower has to pay 1.75% on whatever amount they borrow. There you have it. If you need me, you want to discuss with me real estate, buying or selling. Uh, we do quite a lot of it. It really is uh, a neighborhood practice. People buy and sell. People move out of the neighborhood. They move far away. People are moving in. So as a, uh, you know, one of the uh, attorneys that's a staple of the neighborhood here in Queens, I do get a lot of these, these type of cases. And then it's a big part of the elder law practice. Uh, estate planning sometimes will involve uh, preparing new deeds, transferring uh, property from a person's individual name to a trust and life estate and other things. So take a look at the website. I have plenty of information there, written and video. FrankBrunoLaw.com.